lost and never found June the 6th, 2015, and today we're looking for Wood Avons. Okay, well this is Wood Avons here. Um, it's a member of the rose family, and it grows from a rosette in the ground with these multiple stems. Um, at this time of year the leaves have divided into these three leaflets. Um, when they're younger they look a bit more like um, strawberry leaves. And it has these yellow flowers. And these flowers, once they get pollinated, um, they turn into these seed heads. This one's not mature yet, but the seeds will um, develop into hooked seeds, which will then attach to animals and clothing and disperse themselves that way. And it's a perennial, so it grows all year round, and um, you'll find it growing in rosettes with sort of larger leaves than this in the winter, but. You'll see it quite often in the winter. And um, it's medicinal uses. Um, where it's, it's an astringent, so you can use it for, for a wide range of things, from anything from having diarrhoea to sore throats, and it tightens your gums, and yeah, you can make a, a dick decoction out of the leaves and use that to treat uh, skin problems and um, the roots also contain stuff called eugenol which is the same thing you find in cloves and that's got antiseptic and sort of local anaesthetic properties <laughs> Now, as for edibility, um, this is actually quite a fun plant, really. Um, first of all, um, the leaves, um, they don't really taste of much, but um, yeah, they are edible. And um, when you fry them, they kind of puff up a bit and um, go crispy. Um, okay, so as requested, um, a couple of people have asked me to demonstrate cooking with um, various wild foods. So I've got a pan of hot oil here and some wood avens leaves here and um, yeah I'll show you how they crisp up quite nicely when you fry them. So I'll just grab these and chuck them in there. I'll spit a bit. But there's a uh, airtight pockets in the leaves and um, these kind of expand when you fry them so they go quite crispy and um, people say they're a bit like prawn crackers or I think they're more kind of like um, those packets of dried seaweed that you can buy. Yeah, like a lot of things you've got to be quite quick about it otherwise that you do, do tend to incinerate them a bit really. And yeah you can kind of see there's pockets of air, pockets of trapped air in that leaf and um yeah it's quite it's quite crispy it's um yeah quite nice as a as a sort of little savory snack a bit of salt on there or something and another name for wood avens is um clove root and um you can probably guess why because the roots taste of cloves as I said they've got eugenol in them so they've got the same property as cloves there's a local anesthetic and an antiseptic but um yeah it's quite surprising 
when you, you crush the roots and smell them and they really do smell of cloves and you can use them in cooking in the same way you would cloves. And I'm just in the garden now, uh, so I can dig some up, showing some roots. And, um, so yeah, these roots aren't very substantial. Um, and this time of year in the summer, the plant's putting energy into growing and producing flowers and seeds. But um, yeah, come the winter, the, there'll be more energy in these roots and they'll be bigger and it's best to gather them between winter and spring. The roots can be dried and kept for storage, but they need to be dried quite carefully and kept in an airtight container, otherwise they'll lose their flavour. So there you have it, uh, wood avens or herb bennet or clove root. Um, yeah, medicinal plant and a good fun edible as well. Mm -hmm.